Thanks very much indeed. Uh, I need to start with an apology to Phil for this and those who maintain Catch 2. Recently, I was helping write with some documentation for Catch 2, and uh, I wanted to just test these uh, templates, make sure they worked, and no problem, just copy the code examples. And that's what I did. And you might see at the bottom the error messages. Uh, no template named this, no template named that wrong number of arguments. So I paused to think, what was I going to do now? And uh, well, first of all, I, if, if this was a live event, I would ask, does it sound familiar? And I know there would be a lot of hands shown. So, well, I searched for the missing symbols in the documentation, then in the code. I found them in the code, uh, so I pasted in the missing bit and hey presto, it worked. And uh, so of course I fixed the documentation and submitted a pull request. Fine, no big deal. But that kind of thing is an impediment to people using um, shared code. And uh, so I wanted to tell you about an alternative, better way. A better way for those of you working with documentation in the markdown format, and on approval tests for C++, we've been using a tool that allows you to mark sections of text, of code. They could be your test code. It could be your, even your production code um, with uh, little standard strings that say this is code of interest that I want to be able to pull into the documentation. So we just have a comment that says begin snippet and give the snippet a name. And that snippet runs to the end snippet line. And in this particular case, there were two chunks of, of snippet required and one was missing, and that's what the problem was. So then instead of our documentation, our master documentation being, in this case, text fixtures dot source, dot story dot markdown, you have a dot source dot md, and that is an indication that that markdown file needs to be pre-processed in some way. And so, of course, you paste in snippet and the name of the snippet that you want. And then you run the MD snippets command. It says it's processing the file. And then you get this lovely output. So all of that code in there is machine generated. And we know our tests are um, covered and passing. And better than that, those using your documentation get this little link here that says snippet source. And if they click on that, they get taken to the source code on the repository. It doesn't just support GitHub, it supports other version control systems as well. So not only can you see the original code, but crucially, you see the code in the surrounding area. Maybe you need to know what includes to pull in or something like that. So at a high level, what's going on here is your documentation, your master documentation is .source.md, and you have snippets in the source.md, and then begin and end snippet pairs in the source files. As an extra bonus, you can pull in whole files by name as well. So, for example, if you wanted to say, and the output of this test is such and such a file, you can embed that in the documentation. Those all get run through MD snippets, which is really easy to download and run. And you get your code in your documentation, guaranteed up to date, guaranteed compilable, and the context is really easily accessible as well. Some tips for using it. You can also use it to automatically generate the table of contents just by putting in TOC. And if you want to pull in text, but you don't want the source links, then you can use include as well. Um, so you might say include, and then we, ha we have some text in approval text that's the list of supported frameworks that we want that same list in several places. So we have an include.md file with sort of boilerplate text and then we only have to update it in one place. And you can also pull in files data via HTTPS as well. Uh, my super top tip is when you're running the tool, give it the read only command line so that you don't accidentally generate, edit the generated documentation instead. I've done that many times. So that's it, guaranteed working code samples and a way to see their context. Talk to me on Twitter if you want to know more. I'm happy to start helping other libraries migrate to use this. It's a fantastic time saver. Thanks ever so much indeed. Bye for now.